Hello and welcome to the FSOF recording on what is a batch class. My name is Steve Tenori and I am one of the professional services consultants here at FSOFT. The goal of this video is to give us an overview of what a batch class is, how to manage your batch classes and transact, and some use cases of when you might want to have multiple batch classes. A batch class is a container for all of the document types in your project configuration. A batch class is also a container of the workflow configuration rules and settings. For example, your workflow can be as simple as ingesting in your documents, classifying them, and exporting them out to your document repository, all the way up to more complex scenarios such as ingesting your documents, classifying, extracting, validating, and exporting to your document repository. In order to manage your batch classes in Transact, the first thing you'll want to do is expand the administrator section and click the batch class management window. Once you've logged into Transact, you'll be presented with the list of batches that are configured for your system. In this example here, we've got our default batch classes that ship with Transact, in addition to two um, custom batch classes that have been created. In the case here of this fictitious company called Acme, we've got two batch classes for accounting and one for legal. If you double click the accounting batch class, you'll be first presented with the list of document types. In this particular batch class, there are three document types, invoices, purchase orders, and shipping documents. If you click the modules, and expand. Here you'll see a list of all of the modules that have been configured for this particular workflow. In this example, the, the document will go through the folder import process, page processing, document assembly, review, extraction, validation, and then export. So what are some use cases for wanting to have multiple batch classes and transact? A lot of reasons can exist on why you want to have multiple batch classes. One common scenario is taking the case of this company called Acme. There are two departments using Transact, the accounting and legal department. Each of these departments stores their documents in two different incoming folders. If we open up the accounting batch class, the accounting department is interested in capturing invoices, purchase orders, and shipping documents. If we take a look at the legal batch class, the legal department is interested also in capturing purchase order doc types, but in addition, they also have a requirement for disclosure agreements and legal contracts. These batch classes can also be set up with different repositories or even repository locations. Thank you for watching the FSOF video on what is a batch class. In this video, we covered the overview of a batch class, how to manage your batch classes in Transact, and we talked about some use cases of when you might have multiple batch classes. Thank you.